Yeah, another example, man. You, you know, we got contributions from a lot of guys. You know, I hadn't counted up 22, maybe 23 players we played tonight. Got a lot of contributions. I mean, Lucas Ferris. You know what? We, we've been. I've been telling people, look, Lucas is coming. You just got to say, you know, he's had. We've had to work through some stuff with him. Uh, I mean, gosh, he hit the ball over the batter's eye tonight. Um, you know, and then Henry. Henry. You know, I. You could. You could say Henry. He's the hardest worker we got. I mean, this kid just doesn't quit. I mean, and when I say work, I mean he's he's taking millions of swings off the machines, and you know, so for him to uh, you know come in and have success tonight, it it doesn't surprise me. And then obviously Superman, you know, gets the ball in the first and whatever. So I mean, you know, it's it's just almost like wow, if he doesn't homer, it's it's news, right? But uh, um, uh, yeah, offense tonight. And then you look all up and down the lineup. I mean, we had some big walks. You know, I, I, I said earlier to the uh, guy who's going to, you know, probably uh, a couple of bats that are going to go by the wayside is Sebastian Murillo's dropping down a bunt there with two outs, which well, then we started, you know, you get back to the top of that lineup and teams are nervous. And obviously with, you know, Slate and Charlie and at that time, Dylan, and, and so you go, hey, you know, and then that two-out bunt led to a walk. We needed that run at that point there in the seventh, I think it was. And, and it just kind of calmed the game back down. And uh, so, yeah, you, you just look, we're getting contributions from a lot of players. Let me ask you this. Maybe you set up your, your non-conference schedule this year with uh, the SEC in mind. Kind of what were your goals for what you wanted to do, see? Yeah, you know, uh, keep in mind, a lot of the schedule was, was already true, set. True, and true. then, you know, the, the one weekend that wasn't, that we, we didn't have anything, you couldn't find anything, was last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I wanted to play as many games as I could before – non-conference and, and obviously weekends before SEC. I knew we were going to have a deep lineup. So you want to play a lot of games to just figure out these roles, to, meaning, you know, who can hit who and what. And, you know, it, it was good, like I say, to see Lucas come in. We, we knew we really liked the matchup tonight. It was screaming at us on paper with all the analytics we run. And, and it paid off. Is that the best thing you see from Brant this year? Yeah, he, he's coming, guys. I mean, we, we, we've done, we've, we've added, you know, I don't want to get into what we're doing with him, but yeah, I, no, I, I knew it was coming. Another guy who works extremely hard, not one bit surprised that, that he had success tonight, but it was really good inning. Let me ask you, now jumping ahead to this week at SEC play starts, you've been in this league, obviously, a long time. Explain the difference now. What, what changes now when you start playing these teams week in and then week out? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that you have to make sure your team, and that's something we talk a lot about, and that's why I was, you know, happy with the way our guys were tonight. Yeah, you, you can't panic in that league. You know, I mean, it's funny. You, you look and, heck, I was talking to a few guys, I think maybe from, I'm trying to remember, I don't want to misquote, one of the teams that went to Omaha was 5-9 was and nine at one point in the league and, and then rolled off some wins and got into the tournament and then, and then ends up in and, and that's what – the biggest thing is is you just go play. You continue play. Some teams will start to add pressure because it's league and you can't. You, you just got to keep playing. You got to stay calm, cool, and collected. You, you got to uh, attack the strike zone, can't chase. And you just play the game and try to try to play without a ton of emotion with a lot of energy. At the same time, you don't want to make too big of a deal out of it, make the game, you know, they're already big, but not make many bigger maybe than what they already are. Yeah, you, you can't do that. You just come in. And, you know, it's like I told our guys, and I think we're battle-tested. You know, this is a good team tonight, man. I, these guys are good, man. Uh, you, you know, when you go back, Georgia Tech, I think Georgia Tech's a good ball club. And, uh, I mean, I keep going. I, Stetson's a good ball club. And, hey, Northern Kentucky, I mean, you know, all these teams we've played, I, I feel like we've played some good ball clubs. And, 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 and we're ready. We've come from behind. We, you know, we've had a couple walk-offs. We've been in some tight ball games uh you know we, we we had to keep punching back and forth with these guys tonight and and so yeah i mean i think we're ready you just gotta you know everybody's like what do you think well you don't know until you play the first couple then, then you know right so what do you think you know about kentucky right now what? Sure um yeah yeah no I, yeah well, I've, I, I, I've watched i'll i'll watch a lot of film on them um, i've already started uh they got they got i, I really like their starters on the mound uh, they got three three guys I really like on the pin. That's as far as I've gotten on, on their pitching. Offensively, you know, they play in such a big ballpark. They're not going to hit home runs. And, and, and we can't expect to hit home runs. you got to play defense. you got to be able to defend the bunt. They're going to run. Um, they're going to hit and run. And, and then they do have a couple guys in the middle that can't leave the, you know, can't leave the yard. And so we're just going to have to attack the strike zone. The biggest thing this weekend, well, we can't walk a ton of guys. Uh, that's how they'll get you.
talk about learning roles on that pitching staff there as well. Is there anything specific that you learned tonight? Just, I mean, you said eight, seven or eight guys out there. Is there anything specific you learned tonight? Yeah, well, I, I had matchups already planned in my head, you know, looking at their lineup once I got their lineup, and, and the matchups came in really well. Uh, uh, or, or, you know, it just worked out to where we were able to put those different guys in there. Um, and, I th yeah, I think everybody's starting. I've got an idea on where I'm going to be able to put some guys. And then you face 10 different pitchers on Iowa. I mean, that's not something you're going to be facing every single week. You know, what can you take from facing that many guys and, and facing that many people on the mound, especially when you're facing three guys in one inning? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I think it's, it's a credit to what Coach Coggin does with our, with our offense. And it, it's, that's one of the hardest things to do in this game is, is see different pitches. You never get in a the rhythm. They're always able to change. And, and you know, their, their usage, you're going off their usage, but you know, maybe just for one guy. So, uh, you know, it's a credit to our hitters and the work that they're putting in. Yeah, and then getting Coleman Willis up there for getting, getting that, that nice strikeout to, to close out that inning. Just how nice was that to see, especially with how much work you guys have been putting in with him? Yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of like the fairest thing. You know, there, Coleman had two, two matchups, and it was their two, three hitters tonight. I mean, it was screaming. Like, if he'll get in the area, Cody, he's going to be a great matchup for them. And, and he came in, and that's what I told him. I, I told Coleman, I said, you got the next two hitters. And, you know, we had, oh, gosh, I don't know who I remember I had up. I think maybe Smith up to come in behind him if, you know, if something didn't, didn't get. But, yeah, the matchup was screaming Willis come in the game and get that game.